Hi! Welcome to I Question PH. The today's question is What is prime factorization? Composite numbers can be written as product of prime factors. The process is called prime factorization. A factor tree is often used to determine the prime factors of a given number. Let's have an example. Write the prime factorization of 96 using the factor tree method. Step 1. Think of a pair of factors that will give a product of 96. You may use any pairs aside from 1 and 96. 96 has the following pair of factors. 2 times 48, 3 times 32, 4 times 24, 6 times 16, and 8 times 12. So let's choose 3 and 32. So using the factor tree method, we write 96 at the top. Then we continue branching until all the numbers are primes. So 96, then 3 and 32. Step 2. Is there a prime factor from the pair we used? Yes, there is. 3 is a prime number. So we encircle it meaning we don't have to get its factors any longer. 32 is a composite number, so we continue getting its factors. 32 has the following pair of factors. 1 times 32, 2 times 16, and 4 times 8. Let's try using 4 and 8. Because 4 and 8 are both composite numbers, we still need to find their factors. Step 3. Get the factors of 4. Then, get the factors of 8. The factors of 4 are both 2. 2 is a prime number. It means we should encircle both number. The factors of 8 are 2 and 4. So again, 2 is already a prime number. Meanwhile, 4 is a composite number. So we need to still get its factors. Again, the factors of 4 are both Two. So we both encircle them. Now that all the factors in the last layer are prime, we proceed to the last step. Step 4. Write the number as the product of its prime factors. All the encircled numbers in the factor tree are the prime factors of the given number. Let us write a multiplication expression using all the encircled numbers. The prime factorization of 96 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. These expressions can be written as 2 to the 5th power times 3. Continuous division method can also be used to determine the prime factors of a given number. In this method, we divide the number by a prime number until the last quotient is also a prime number. Example, let's use the continuous division method to get the prime factorization 
of 84. Step 1. Divide the number using one of its prime factors as the divisor. So these are the factors of 84. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 12, 14, 21, 28, 42, and 84. So let's choose 7 as the divisor in this method since it's the highest prime here. 84 divided by 7 is 12. Step 2. Use the quotient as the dividend. Repeat step 1. So our quotient is 12. Let us find its factors again since it is still a composite number. 12 has the following factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. In this case, the highest prime is 3. So let's choose 3. Continue dividing using this prime factor as the divisor until the last quotient is a prime number. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 is still a composite number. So let's continue getting the factors. 4 has the factors of 1 2 and 4. We use 2 as the divisor. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 is already a prime number. The last step is write the number as a product of the divisors and the last quotient. The prime factorization of 84 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 or 2 to the second power times 3 times 7. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.